The Mouse, the Bird, and the Sausage From the Complete Fairy Tales of the Brothers Grimm Translation by Jack Sipes Once upon a time, a mouse, a bird, and a sausage came together and set up house. For a long time, they lived together in peace and happiness, and they managed to increase their possessions by a considerable amount. The bird's job was to fly into the forest every day and bring back wood. The mouse had to carry water, light the fire, and set the table, while the sausage did the cooking. Yet, those who lead the good life are always looking for ways to make it even better. And one day, as the bird was flying about, he met another bird and boasted about how wonderful his life was. But the other bird called him a poor sap because he had to do all the hard work while his companions just enjoyed themselves at home. Indeed, after the mouse started the fire and carried the water into the house, she generally went to her little room and rested until she was called to set the table. The sausage always stayed by the pot and kept an eye on the cooking, and right before mealtime he usually slid through the stew or vegetables to make sure everything was salted and seasoned properly. And that was all he did. When the bird came home and laid down his load, they would sit down at the table, and after finishing the meal, they would sleep soundly until the next morning. Such was their glorious life. However, the bird had been disturbed by what the other bird had said, and the next day he refused to fly into the forest. He told his companions that he had been their slave long enough, and that they must have taken him for a fool. He demanded that they try another arrangement. The mouse and the sausage argued against this, but the bird would not be denied, and he insisted that they try a new way. So they drew lots, and it fell upon the sausage to get the wood from then on, while the mouse became cook and the bird was to fetch water. What happened? After the sausage went to fetch the wood, the bird started the fire, and the mouse put the kettle on the stove. Then they waited for the sausage to return with the wood for the next day. However, the sausage was gone so long that the other two had an uneasy feeling, and the bird flew out a little way to meet him. Not far from their home, however, he encountered a dog, and he learned that this dog had considered the sausage free game and had grabbed him and swallowed him down. The bird was furious and accused the dog of highway robbery, but it was of no use, for the dog maintained he had found forged letters on the sausage, and therefore the sausage had had to pay for this with his life. Now the bird sadly picked up the wood and carried it back home. He told the mouse what he had seen and heard, and they were very distressed. Nevertheless, they agreed to do the best they could and stay together. Meanwhile, the bird set the table, and the mouse prepared the meal. She intended to put the finishing touches on it by seasoning it and sliding through the vegetables the way the sausage used to, but before she even reached the middle, she got stuck and had to pay for it with her life. When the bird came to serve the meal, there was no cook. He became so upset that he scattered wood all over the place, calling and searching for the mouse, but his cook was no longer to be found. Due to the bird's distraction, the wood soon caught fire, and the house went up in flames. When the bird rushed to fetch some water, however, the bucket slipped and fell into the well, dragging the bird along. Since he could not get himself out, he was left to drown. The End